24 hours later and I have huge things to share with you. I finally feel some form of difference after taking the vaccine. Hey there, welcome to today's video. Now in today's video, I will share with you how I feel 24 hours after taking the COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine. Now I took my vaccine yesterday and if you haven't watched that video, please remember to watch it first because that video shares uh, the whole procedure of me taking the COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine and then I made another video which shared uh, what happened to me 12 hours later. So this is 24 hours later and I have huge things to share with you. I finally feel some form of difference after taking the vaccine. I woke up a few times last night, but that is quite common. So I was adjusting my body and I realized that every time I lean towards my left side, which is where the injection took place, uh, I actually do feel quite a bit of this soreness that kicks in. But it's more than soreness compared to the first dose. So in this second dose, it's more to uh, really some teenager coming to you and just punching you so that there is this pulsating pain that you feel in the injection side and it's much bigger than before. I remember in those one I told you it was about 2 inch. This one would be somewhat around here. It's like a 10 cm distance, right? So it's about maybe 4 inch or 3.5 inch and you feel the pain just pulsating around this area. So even now as I press my arm, okay, not too far but you know, just when I go close to the injection site around here, I do feel that it is actually quite pain. Alright, so that's the first thing that I feel. It's definitely more pain compared to what I felt after the first dose. So I was trying to move myself into a comfortable position and that was one of the first things that I noticed. The other thing that I noticed was if you move your arm into this 90 degree position. So when my arm is down this way, I feel a bit of this pulsating pain around here and if it goes very high up like this again I feel the pain impact is much more but I realized that when you go into a 90 degrees position like that then the pain is almost you don't really feel the pain at all you know if you can actually sleep this way with your arm in this position and then your pillow here and you're actually lying down you don't feel any pain at all so that's a good position that you can try after your COVID vaccine uh, to see whether it works for you too. Now the second thing that I did notice was that when I got off bed, I did feel a little groggy and my head was a little heavier than usual. So it was not that kind of like push up and just walk off the bed. I did feel a little tired and my head was heavy. And once again, I felt that, that type of uh, delayed thinking to understand greater into what delayed thinking really feels like, please watch this video here. So I felt this a couple of years back, I can't actually remember when I made this video <laughs> at this point of recording, but I felt that uh, a long time back, weirdly it's not related to fever, but you know, it just kicked into me that I have to test my temperature. So by the way, I have tested my temperature and no, I don't have fever, but there was that type of delayed thinking, which really means that I can be staring at you or the camera and my mind, is still thinking about the previous thing that I was looking at. Okay, so if I'm looking at, say, my cupboard, and then I look at you, I may have turned to look at you, but my brain is still thinking about the cupboard. And that is what I mean, delayed thinking kind of feel. Don't really know why that is happening, but the temperature is 37.2 degrees Celsius, so I don't think it's any fever. But of course, they did say that if you feel feverish, then take a bit of Panadol here and there, and you should be fine. So that's how I feel. The first thing is the pain, the second thing is this delayed thinking and uh, other than that, do I feel tired? No, I don't. Do I feel chilly? Not really. Um, in fact, I feel a little warmer compared to most other days. So for the past few days, I had been sleeping without the aircon and the fan. Like I didn't even need it because it was so cold. And then last night, I, or rather this morning, I woke up and my fan was on full blast. The aircon was off and I just felt a little warm. I didn't feel cold, you know, I didn't even need to snuggle in the blanket. It was like, just blanket off and I feel warm. I've actually confirmed with Jing Kang and he feels more pain also on the injection side, but he has not felt any other symptoms like the delayed thinking or heavy head, none of that at all. Alright, so I think he's getting it much better, but nevertheless, the symptoms are similar and uh, I would say that it's a close estimate to what you probably will feel. Now, I will come back to you again and share with you how I feel as time goes, hopefully in 24 hours. As long as I sense something different, I will come back to you. And uh, the only way that you can keep updated to all the wonderful content that we have is to really subscribe to us. So please do that now. Click the subscribe button and of course, help us to like this video. 
So please remember, subscribe, like, and the last thing would be to share this video with your friends because it would really help many people. Many people are worried about the symptoms of the second dose. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay cool, stay awesome, and be your best always. Bye.